Hello everybody and welcome back to Stone Hearth. This is yet again another live episode that I'm making a trend of this. Uh, everybody in the chat is spamming hello to say hello to you and also tell you that you should have been here. You uh, you should have been with us live uh, recording this. Of course, links to my Twitter and Twitch are all on the screen right now. You should follow me on both those places so you know when the episodes are actually going live because there is no schedule and there probably never will be any. Um, so I've just designed a new building, placed a few more down, given some more building orders, and we are, whoa, inside a house. Uh, we are ready to go. Hello, Justin. Welcome to the party. <laughs> yes, they made a they made a horrible mistake when they missed this. Anyway, we're going to start playing. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen these guys actually move. Oh, look, our, uh, our healer's actually got a circlet on. Sorry, I just want to pause up to see this. What is your name? J. Jonah Jameson. Good little... Oh, he's lost his eyes. He's lost his eyes again. <laughs> there we go. There's his eyes. Um, he's got his little, like, emerald circlet on. That's quite cool. I like that. All right, let's see. What, what, what needs a doing? What needs a doing? The mining order has done... Wow, there's a lot of stuff up there. I don't think there's any left to mine out, so I'm going to stick another massive order on. Um, just start working on that. I think, other than that, everything else is... Just got to get cracking with it, really, haven't we? Uh, there is a really random hole outside this house, and I wonder why they've done it. I'm not sure why they, uh, why they took out the floor there, but we could probably make a feature out of it. Uh, are the villagers reproduce... Able to reproduce. <laughs> um, so the villagers can't reproduce. They can't even have relationships at the moment. They, they don't even they don't even know that each other exists, really, do they? And they have little conversations, but that's about as far as it goes. Because if you put them in a house together, even if they are friends with each other, they don't they don't tend to uh, to get on. That that's like a negative thing for them. Um, they want their own spaces, don't they? Right, let's see. They're going to take out this dude, no problem. We've, we've dealt with this kind before. What did we say he was? He's like a, a, a Jabberwocky in a lizard sleeping bag or something. I think it was. There we go. So he's going to be dealt with, no problem. Let's speed it up. We've got the Iron Maces now. That means the uh, our blacksmith is doing his job. Doing good stuff. Let's see, do we have a shield yet? Yeah, probably soon. Ah, oh, we need some leather for that. Okay. In that case, uh, we need... Oh, if they don't reproduce, where do the kids come from? There are no kids. Hearthlings, hearthlings are brought into this world as, as adults. Fully grown adults. <laughs> and they, they, they actually come wandering out the forest, wouldn't you know? Um, yeah, no one knows where they come from. They don't even know. Uh, Norm Windrose, you've arrived. Where's the cell? Do you have anything that we need? No, we need leather. Nothing else. Um, full plate mail is a bit nuts. Uh, we can sell a few of these things. That's not a problem. Where are we getting all these plushy toy rabbits from? I don't get it. Hmm. Uh, I don't think anything else is for sale. Oh, no, we got a duplicate of that and that. And we have a duplicate one of these. So that should be fine. I think everything else is okay. Yeah, they grow the ground like daisies. <laughs> I'm not even sure that they grow. I'm pretty sure that when they brought into this world, they are full size. Um, they're exported from from a modeling engine, is what they are. Now we know what Treebeard does. It? Yeah, he makes halflings. <laughs> uh, let's stick a looting order on on these down here because we have to pick these guys up, don't we? Yeah, okay, they were from probably from a goblin village earlier on. Um, and we'll stick a harvest order on some of these trees that we planted down so we can make space for the new ones. I think we actually have too many trees. I didn't think I'd say that. Probably want to change some of these into not tree ones. Have we only got one of trees? Huh. <laughs> no kids, that sounds like a better world. It does. Okay, right, daily update. This is important. We need new people. And we've got, wow, you know what this means. Uh, Foston Jondal has now joined Dartmoor Forest. Um, hello, Foston. Are you, you're already talking to somebody, or is, who is that? That's Thesquarin. Thesquarin's just sort of like, hey, welcome, welcome to the world. Um, Foston Jondal, what are you actually good at? He's useless. He's absolutely useless. 
I keep getting useless halflings. I need ones with high mind stats, and I just keep getting ones. Uh, professor. He's a professor, but he's dumb. Brilliant. So good. Okay, well, uh, if you want to... Um, I don't know. Uh, and if you want to name this guy, let me just come up with a word that you guys can say. Uh, let's go to the giveaway section. So, you know the drill. If you want to rename Foston, you can type his name. If you, so if you copy and paste that into the chat, then you'll be added into the giveaway. Okay, let's see who got it. Becca. Becca, Becca, Becca. <laughs> Nigel. You want to call him Nigel? Have you? Uh, do you want to give a second name to it? Do we keep him as Jondal? Naming gives you anxiety. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You can use your own name if you want. <laughs> Last name's my pick. Um, Nigel. Hmm. Nigel, Nigel. What? What to call him? Now you put me on the spot. Uh, Nigel isn't dumb. <laughs> no, but he has a lot of spirit, so that's uh, that's what we're what we're saying. Um, Nigel. Nigel Del Nigel, there we go. Nigel Del Nigel. He's uh <laughs> Let's not dox. Let's not dox uh Delhi on stream. Um Nigel Del Nigel is gonna be his name. And uh oh we need to asterisk him, don't we? So he doesn't get renamed. So Nigel Del Nigel. He's not. He's he's incredibly weak, and he's he doesn't know anything. But he helps other people around him learn, and he has he has a lot of spirit, um, and uh, he's going to be joining our town. So we need to get ourselves a. I was about to say a spinster, but that is not the right word. Kurt Hummel, you'll do. Um, let's change you. Change your job. Into our weaver. We don't have already one of them, do we? The pancake lord has arrived. Right, so now that we've got a level one weaver, we can start looking into making some leather. It's gonna be important for the coming stuff. <laughs> hey Nick, how you doing buddy? Uh, let's see, so we need to build a few of these things. Uh, we've got spinning wheel to build and we've workbench all this stuff, all this lovely good stuff. Um, and we need, uh, we need to keep a steady supply of this stuff. That requires just that. And they both require this. Okay, right. I know what I'm doing now. So we're going to make 10 of these, maintain them, maintain and order 10 of these. And we'll maintain 10 of these guys as well. And then the order, I think, we're going to put that at the bottom. And we need leather more often than we need bolts of cloth. I think that's right. Not sure. I think it's right. Um, storage? This is all new. Woven supply basket? Oh man, awesome. Uh, right, a cloak talk scout arrives. Uh, well done, little town. You survived another night. Argo, his mountain, and his soothsayer disappeared from the earth, but you remain. Do you celebrate? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. To the great come the challenges of the great. Power seeks power. To defeat power is to invite the attention of more. Yeah. Mike Khan has seen many years. He is ill. When his star falls, his men will look to the wilds to grow their honor. Argo's owners will pass to you, and they will come. Argo's what? Cast the bones. Argo's soothsayer did over the cradle of his this land. Would you hear his words? Uh, sure. Oh, heroes come and heroes go, but forever found in the campfire's glow. Oh, of lumber born and south star driven, grew what grew nest of hope in mountains riven. The wink of the gem in the monkey's paw. The rebirth of the star of the gods foresaw. This sounds like a gorilla song. Um, who who can say? My people believe. Well, it does not matter now. The cycles of the gods are not for the everyday considerations of man. Lizard kin, monkeys folk, or otherwise. Monkey folk? Okay. Uh, look to your... Wait, does he mean me? Huh. Uh, look to your tomorrow, little town, and prosper. Thanks, I guess. My Khan calls me home. Farewell, little town. To every equal, another day dawns. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, so all that was doing was foreboding. It was saying uh, we we didn't kill Ogo, but we did best best him. And so now the honor of killing Ogo passes to us. And if we want to, if people want that honor, they have to come and kill us, or make us go to sleep. I suppose like we did the mountain. Um, and we'll give them plushy toy rabbits. I think is how that works. 
Anyway, we're going to start harvesting. We need to put a bigger emphasis on silkweed because we need a lot of that stuff. Are we making any? That's bright bell sprouts and that is frost snaps. We need to be we need to be farming some more of these guys. Uh, so I'm going to stick a whole row in of silkweed so we have a good supply of that coming in so we can make thread now that we have a weaver at least. Let's stick a harvest order on some of the stuff that's over here. I think that should be good for there. All of that stuff over here. Is this just stuff that needs looting or is that actually just to be picked up later? I think that's to be picked up later. Okay, well, that's all set to be harvested. Let's continue playing for a bit. See what comes out of this. Uh, we could place some trees down because we've grown some. But 20 to place down, man, so many. Uh, let's make the forest a little bit bigger. Leave enough space though for these trees to get massive. Is it a mod that asks me to replant? No, it's the uh, the farmers. So the farmers, they uh, there is a row somewhere here. Not sure where it is. Oh, I've got two rows of them. Um, acorns, so you can set up trees to be grown, and then when they grow them, you can then just place them down. Um, it's incredibly useful when you're in the desert and in the late game as well, because you run out of wood so fast. Um, there's nothing I need to buy. Let's have a look. Anything I can sell though, quite a lot of stuff. Um, load of that stuff to pause up, see what else we can sell this guy. Not sure there'll be anything else. Some stone, don't need all of that. We can sell the rest of the trees, we don't need those. Um, don't need either of these anymore. We can place down the spinner stuff just for now. Or the weaver's stuff. Uh, so we place down loom on that side, a spinner's wheel here and a workbench right next to it. Lovely stuff. That is... I wonder how that's going to work. Okay, all right. Sure, uh, let's see where this invasion was. An enemy, where are you? Oh, you're big. You're very big. Is that our fox? No, it's just a fox. Okay. Uh, let's get our first division out there. Um, actually, have we got what I need yet? Let's have a look. Blacksmith, blacksmith, blacksmith. Uh, what have you made for me? He's not made any yet. Of course he hasn't. Okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna upgrade some of these things as well, so we need quite a few of these, I think. Iron helms, yep. Yeah. Let's stick an order in for those. Craft, craft me. Uh, I think I'm gonna need four of them. Uh, and queue an order of just two of these. I don't think I'll need any more than that. I think that's all fine then, because we have some plate mail. Uh, actually, that plate mail that we've got is almost the best in the game. Huh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, and we'll take an iron, a couple of iron pikes as well. Uh, or in fact, just one of them, because we want to keep somebody else with the uh, the big weapon that we got off of Volgo. So let's speed this up. Military should go out and deal with this guy over here. You had a lot of mods in Banish. Yeah, that's generally what happens to mine. Everybody dies of old age. Wow, that was over quickly. Okay. <laughs> what did he drop? A lump of coal, silver ore, hunk of stone. They're talking about trees. Like trees? Yep, trees. There's lots of trees around. Cool. Bye. Uh, they get really big, don't they? And someone's... How's that going to work? There's like... There's a sapling on top of a tree with a bale of wheat. Hmm. <laughs> That's strange. Um, anywho. These houses come along nicely. Are there any that I forgot to build? No, I don't think there are. I think that's all okay. Is it? I think so. Right, it's looking good. Pleased with this progress so far. A baby halfling. Oh, they, they'd be tiny. They'd be so small. They'd be, um, if you think about it, they these halflings are three blocks tall, so the baby would only be one block tall. It'd be just like a little, little nubbin on the floor. All right, let's have a look. Daily update, do we have another person? We do. Okay, as ever, first two of the stream always go to the stream. So, Sean, another Sean, Sean Founder? We had one of them before, didn't we? Why? Why do I keep getting terrible stats? <laughs> He's so bad. Um, one in mind, one in spirit, four in bodies. He's gonna be a worker. He can't be anything else. Um, animal companion, ever since uh, March the Squirrel Saved their their halfling. Sean, 
wait, that's the other way around. The other one had the person save the squirrel from danger, but this one, the squirrel saved Sean Founder from mortal danger. <laughs> There's March the squirrel down here. Hello. Hello, March. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the town, March. Um... Yes, cakes for phrases for the win, definitely. Uh, so there we go, there's March the Squirrel. Apparently, March can save you from mortal danger if you really need him to. Um, but if we want to rename Sean Founder, you need to put in the chat, uh, March. Who gets it? Abby, you get to rename. I look washed out by my light. That's, uh, that's a bit mean. Uh, <laughs> Edward McBad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do Edward McBad, if I can even say it. Uh, Mc... Edward McBad. There we go. He was saved by a squirrel. Can we rename the squirrel? That's only release. Uh... Oh, I can rename the squirrel. Let's... Uh, I'm going to re-roll re and see who else. So, Justin, would you like to rename the squirrel or would you like to keep him called March? Squeak and McSqueakins, suggests Nick, but... Nick didn't win the giveaway, so Nick doesn't get to decide. Take Nick's. Ah. Oh. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Nick, you win this one. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste that from chat because I can't be asked to type all of that. Does it paste? Pasting does work, awesome. Right, Squeak and McSqueakins, the squirrel. Squeak and McSqu is how it's come up. Saved Edward McBad from a, a terrifying plight of the, Mon the Mongol horde. They came in to try and kill him. Yeah, I am naturally pale. I am like one of the most pale people you ever come across. I never, <laughs> I never go outside. Uh, let's see, oh, somebody is, is, is loving talking to Twinkle down here. Who are you? No, come back. What is, nyeh. Let's pause that, what is your name? Mary, Mary, you were talking to Twinkle. <laughs> I am, yes, that's why the uh, the game's actually getting some progress. Um, right, what am I in this, this menu for? I don't need to be in there. Let's have a look, invaders approaching. It's more stone people. Hmm, what are stone people these days? Uh, not that menu, this one down here. There we go. Let's fend off these guys. There we go. Should be able to take this guy out, no problem. There we go. Well, that's our military just showing its strength. Um, I have no idea how long I've been recording this for. Probably not long enough. I think it's only been about 20 minutes, so I'll keep going. Um, right, we need leather, don't we? So, have we been getting on with that? Let's see. That's the wrong button again. Uh, this one down here. Uh, yes, we've built one of the shields. Awesome stuff. Right, we're going to be promoting somebody. Um, yes, you did miss just just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to be promoting uh, either Ricochet or Lex Martin. Who's the... Oh, Ricochet's already max. Ricochet would make a better... He'd make a better knight, I think. So we're going to change his job. He's going to get a promotion. Angela, your boy, he's getting a promotion to knight. There you go. He's now a knight. And a trader approaches the town. See, so five wooden window frames, they come up with five curtains. No, nah, no, nah, thank you. Let's have a look. Where is he? Is he going to go and get his shield? He's still a footman. Why is he not grabbing his shield? Go on. No? Why have you not gone and promoted yourself? Oh, no, that's Doom Sprinkles. Uh, Ricochet. Change job. I already promoted you. Promote tonight. Go on, go pick up, go take the, go take the honor. There we go. Lovely stuff. So Ricochet is our first knight. So we have a knight. He's only level one. He has to use uh, the basic sword for the moment because we don't have the skill for the new stuff, I don't think. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we don't have the skill, so we need uh, we need to make a long sword, I think, or a two-handed sword. I think it's the long sword that's for the knights. Um, 
and then he'll have a massive damage boost, but he's mostly about taking punishment. While everybody else is uh, is dishing out the damage. Um, speaking of which, though, we do probably need some new people in the army. So, uh, Nick's Knack, you've got a lot of health. Well, Cave and North Point. Cave and North Point, I think we were going to rename, weren't we? So let's rename him now, because that was from a video. And I think it was Angela that said it. Um, so we're going to rename him... Uh, to Papa Mole. And that was like three episodes ago, so I finally caught up on that. Um, and we'll change his job as well. He's going to be in the military. Yeah, Ricochet's the tank. Ooh, hello. There is, uh, there's some kobolds. Oh dear. Um, what are they? Jir Krilnusk and Wall Goldback. Oh, and this guy over here, Zuna Killuk. <laughs> oh, Killul. Okay. Um, Designated Hearth Tender, Devotee of the Diamond Star, and another one of the, Devo of the Diamond Star. Uh, oh, Tom. <laughs> you can go back and check, I'm not just making it up. Um, let's see, uh, we got we got to kill these guys. Is there anybody else around on the horizon that we can kill? We've got to level up Ricochet, he's only back to a level one. Let's see if he gets some damage in this fight. Okay, so they're going in. Right, deal with the archers first. You can do it. Come on. Oh, this is a pain. They're having to deal with each one individually. Because they keep running away. Just kill them. <laughs> the healer's getting involved with his book as well. This is mad. This is utter madness. Well, there's only one left. There should be no problem for them. Biting people's ankles. They're a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> it would be good if you could recruit other people into your village. And that, I think, is something they've got on the books. Because there's, like, loading screens with bunny people. Oh, I think that's going to be taken care of itself. Uh, let's have a look. Daily update. We do have another person. I think that will be the last person into our village. Luna Pap. Lunapap has joined Dartmoor Forest. Hello, Lunapap. What are your stats? You are mm, pretty average. Pretty average. Heart of the Crafter, though. That is something that's pretty useful. Uh, I will probably try and make her into an engineer at some point. But for now, going to remain a worker. Oh, so what happens if someone dies in a fight? Um, if Well, if you watch the, the hairy fighting and shaved building episode, uh, you know um, they get uh, downed into like a down state and then their health starts to tick down like blue health and one of your halflings has to go out rescue them bring them back to a bed and then the herbalist has to heal them up um, otherwise uh, yeah they will uh, they will die and you'll get a you get a little tombstone that you'll have to place and it's quite sad and everybody will get a, a debuff for the week well, it's only a week though everybody gets over it pretty quickly Fickle people, these halflings. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, all this stuff has been built by the looks of things. So we're just waiting on people to go over and get rid of that scaffolding. What is the holdup? Why are we not getting everything built as fast as I'd like? Let's have a look. Oh, that's probably why. We need gold flakes. Where do we get gold flakes from? Uh, does anybody know where I get gold flakes from? Because I have no idea. Um, in here, maybe? Ah, I don't know. Uh, it won't be the weaver. It might be the mason. Let's have a look. Can you make gold flakes? Ah, you can. Awesome stuff. Right, let's maintain a stock of ten of them at all times. Just so that we have enough. Uh, oh, we didn't assign beds. Uh, we need to put more beds down, don't we? So let's do that. Let's uh, place item. Do we have any beds? Probably not. I don't think so, actually. Uh, we'll need to get somebody to build some ma mean beds then. Uh, workshop and we need to build some beds. We built in here? I think so. Yeah, we'll build like five of them. That'll do, and then we'll make them top priority. There we go. 
Should get on with them uh, any moment, any moment soon. Uh, we have enough, but I'm going to decline the person for now because uh, we have 20 people and that was what I was aiming for. There's some bigger wooden people. They're new. Um, go forth. Attack. Attack my minions. Kill them. Ruin their day. Burn them. Chop them to pieces. sit back and survey my people as they murder the, the tree folk that have come to purchase from the lands. Here we go. Papamology Footman level 3. It's good to know. Um, what is up with all these, uh, all these all these over here? It's mad. What are they actually doing? Why is there a piece of silver on the roof? Oh, that's so strange. Um... It's the... Oh yeah, they're getting on with the mining over there. That's good to see. Trader approaches the town. Eight wall gargoyles for ten comfy beds. Ooh, can I leave that open and just be like, how easy is a wall gargoyle to make? How how can I... Can I make these? Wall gargoyles. Wall-mounted decorative gargoyle. I think that's what they mean. Eight of them. Sure. I'll make eight of those. Craft them. Accept. And let's put that up the top, and he'll make that in no time. Yeah, they are. They're little angry tree stumps. They've seen our forest, and they're like, no! You turn the big forest into a little forest, like us. I don't know. I've no... <laughs> I've no idea. Um, they're angry either way. It's like, uh, it turns it into an eco-film, doesn't it? Like Cloverfield. Yeah, they do seem to dump their stuff in some really odd places. I think it's if they're carrying stuff and then they get, like, the call for lunch. They all just leave. They just drop everything they're carrying and they go and get lunch. Ah. They're like, half things after my own heart. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, have we got any more metal done? Looks like we're getting on to the iron stuff. How close to levelling up is the blacksmith? Let's see, uh, it is Doom Sprinkles, and you are level 4. Oh, you're nowhere near. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the berries on the roof. <laughs> right, well, it's, uh, it's all peaceful in Dartmoor Forest. We've got another one of these houses. Is that house finished? I think it is. Uh, in which case, do we have a bed? Have we made a bed yet? Please say we've made a bed. <laughs> I need one to place down. I have people without beds. We have a teapot, but no bed. Oh, there we go. Nice, fine bed, awesome stuff. Let's place that down uh, with the head of the bed. Oh. Uh, we'll have to place it sideways so they can still use the, um, the dresses that are over there. And it'll have to go... Yeah, I'll have to go in there like that. Okay, well that's one bed to be placed down, and then the other one's going to go in here. Same, roughly about there. I think that's about right. And their place will be for the two new people. <laughs> Cancel action thing is, yeah, the amount of plates of, uh, of cooked food that end up on the floor. It's just ridiculous. Do they not have a storage barn? No, they don't. I haven't actually built any storage for them this this series so far. We, they've got two storage areas. Um, it's okay though. Uh, we've got lots of vegetable stew and we've got lots of meat stew, I think, somewhere else. And it's, uh, yep, savoury meat stew. It's, it's just sitting on the floor, getting cold. <laughs> cold and furry, just like the way they like it. These are, these are sturdy Viking hearthlings after all. Let's see. Oh, enemies, 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 enemies on the horizon. That guy over there thinks he's flashy, doesn't he? He's got a red sleeping bag. He's much bigger than the others. Actually, that is huge, isn't it? What's the size difference between, like, halflings and that guy? That's mad. Uh, if I set an attack order... Will we be able to deal with these guys? I don't know if we will, you know. 
Because that is a really big dude. Oh, they're not doing that much damage. We are actually okay for the moment. Soup for days. We've got so much soup and stew. <laughs> they're actually doing pretty well. We haven't taken any damage. This is mad. Awesome stuff. Well, we've got a new person. No, we don't. We have not got enough food. But Ricochet is now le night level 2. He's taking no damage from this. Good word. <laughs> He's just getting like punched in the face and it's not even phasing him. Look at that, his health. It, it goes down and it goes straight. His like, latent healing ability is enough to just fend this off like it's nothing. Although this enemy is taking so much damage. Come on, guys. Kill him, you can do it. They better all level up from this. Trader brings seed from a distant land. Silk we bundle for acacia seeds. Nah, no, I don't need that. Is that not all of them? Oh no! Oh no, in the middle of the town. Uh, everybody get back, get back, get back. Save the town. Save the town. Big dudes are attacking. Save the pot. They're all loving the fact that there's a pot right next to them while they fight. <laughs> How did they get into the middle of the town without me noticing? Nice, that's like three enemies dealt with one swing. That's awesome. Come on, you can do it, guys. No match for them. <laughs> Save the soup. The soup is in danger. Save the soup. Puff and Mole achieved Footman level 4, he's been like a Footman for all of a day, and he's already level 4. It's mental. Absolutely mental. And it's all just back to peace and quiet, like nothing ever happened. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, while I was fighting the red thing, oh, I see. Is it in here? Why do I have a notification for that? Weird. Trade will be back in two days, and the other one is the quest for Township, of course it is. Okay, well, we are going to leave it there. Thank you, everybody, for watching in the video. Uh, you should have been here on the stream. There are, of course, links on the screen right now that you should go to all of them and follow me on all the places. Um, yes, well, anyway, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like down below because it shows you've enjoyed the series and you want to see it continue into the future. It also helps me out, so it's good for everybody. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications of new videos when they are released. That's all the terms and conditions, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.